What's up guys, it's Philip back here at Babs Honda Repair. And uh, today, I finally got my uh, shortened drive shaft back. Uh, I am using the Land Rover Freelander drive shaft. And uh, I just took the rear shaft and had it shortened. I'm using the uh, DCA Performance adapter flanges. So I got all the adapter flanges mounted up on the you know, on the rear diff and on the back of the transmission. And then I kind of dummy fit my drive shaft to see um, how much I need to shorten it. With that being said, on my 92 Civic, you're required to be shortened six and th or six and three eighths inch. So I took it down to a local drive line shop on Monday, and today is Friday. And uh, I just got the drive shaft back today. And uh, so I was going to kind of show you that, and maybe we can get it the shaft put back in here and uh, start getting this viscous coupler mounted. All right, so st this is a stock Freelander drive shaft. All right, and then this is a shortened piece of a Land Rover drive shaft. You can see here they machined it, they cut it, and they machined it, put it back together, and then welded it, and then just machined the weld back down a little bit just for a little cleaner finish. Uh, I'll probably put some little spray paint on that or something just to keep from rusting. Um, but you can kind of see that's pretty well lined up there. And you can see how much it had to be shortened. So um, the other half of the drive shaft is still laid up under there, under the Civic. Um, so I'm going to get up under there here in a second and uh, see if we can get something going. So I just got the, just got the drive shaft installed. No, it's not the final mount. I'm sure I'll take it back out whenever I pull the transmission to put my built gear uh, set in that. But uh, yeah, you can see there that the billet uh, adapter over to the Freelander drive shaft. And then uh, I've got some mounts made up here. So I've welded some tabs onto the body. And then this bolt here holds this bracket up to the body. And then these bolts hold the actual carrier bearings here so if you let this bolt and that bolt on the end over there out you can drop this whole assembly down and the same with the back of the viscous coupler here so it's got two straps and as you can see the freelander drive shit or the freelander viscous coupler don't really hang down um and then the the rear shaft here and i'm running a pinned uh, CRV diff at the moment so I have the uh, again the billet DCA performance adapter for that and then I have the hub city uh, diff mount and whatnot for back like you know on the back half so it's not the most beautiful mount but it's very sound and it's not going anywhere so that's what matters so you could probably hear in those previous clips that I sounded pretty cruddy and uh, so I've been kind of sick but I'm getting and feeling better. It's been a couple days since I uh, captured those previous clips. I went ahead and I ordered a set of insane shaft rear axles um, for the rear. I'm running drive shaft shot 5.9s on the front. Um, you know, so. As I mentioned in the, the video, I am running the CRV rear diff, so wagon axles won't work. Um, and I didn't really want to run stock CRV axles, so, so I went ahead and ordered the set of the insane, insane shaft 500 horsepower uh, axles. I do plan on running more than 500 horsepower, but I figure after the split, uh, you know, because not all the power is going to be going to the rear. That 500 should be sufficient. Um, I guess we'll find out. Um, I know a majority of the power is going to be going to the front. And as I mentioned, I have the drive shaft shot 5.9s for the front. So I'm not concerned with the front. Um, so hopefully with axles to be in one day next week. This is on Sunday. Um, and then once the, uh, the rear axles come in, I could kind of finalize the assembly on the rear. Um, so, I guess I'll check back in when I get some more parts. 
and uh, try to keep you guys updated as I can. Appreciate you tuning in. Peace.